And welcome. Um, so my name is Ismail Celik. Uh, I am the founder of company uh, Sotsos. And um, in this presentation, I would like to present to you a software testing tool called Tosca. And uh, I am fully aware um, that it is not very well known in the Russian-speaking uh, countries, and uh, there are reasons for that. Um, however, I would like to present to you uh, by purpose, I would like to that you know you heard about it, you know, what uh, the testing, particularly the commissions wants, what they do, what they are trying to implement. And um, we are talking about here a tool which is uh, big companies for enterprises. Okay, and um, yeah, so let's start. First of all, uh, Sotsos, this is, a, uh, this is a software solution engineering company, uh, a little bit uh, advertisement, um, I will be very quick. Um, uh, we are based in uh, Zurich in Switzerland and uh, our operational center is in St. Petersburg. Um, we are the implementation partner of the Tricentis. You will hear this company named Tricentis many times in my presentation. Tricentis is the owner of uh, Tosca uh, testing tool. And um, uh, we are a software development company. Uh, we are providing to our customers uh, mainly in Switzerland and uh, particularly in Germany, end-to-end uh, -end solutions. Um, I am a fan of software engineering in testing uh, principle and uh, all um, testers are also software developers. Um, of course, we are using the agile methodology in our development. Um, so, future of testing. Uh, my uh, colleagues, uh, speaker colleagues, are talking about very much uh, about the future of testing. I don't want to go into that. Uh, from my perspective, I would like to just to summarize. Um, uh, I think uh, Marco had uh, some similar uh, presentation, and then he said, uh, you know, the future is going to be uh, for testing. Testing is not more uh, uh, reactive, it is more proactive. So. Continuous testing is a uh, must because it's not more um, waterfall. We have to always give feedback from the development to uh, production. Um, so, and many companies are trying to implement DevOps. This is a must. Unfortunately, in DevOps concept, is T is missing, but the T is the connecting uh, letter between Dev and uh, operation. Um, this is to the right things and the rightly, and this is about the efficiency and effectiveness. So, um, I will I will present um, another slides about that. What does it mean to the right things and things to right? So, it's about actually you know finding. Finding you know ways my maximum risk you know where I have to start with testing and uh, and how can I automate the so uh, in my opinion the testers are going to be more related uh, in automation in the future so. Um, I think uh, we are in the software development uh, area, and uh, I think uh, this is this is a must. And you know, the testers, we have to we have to be ready for that, and we have to educate ourselves, ourselves, and we have to get the new knowledge. So, very short three centis is an Austrian company in Vienna, and. Um, they are promising with uh, the tool of Tosca uh, um, to improve um, um, automatic testing uh, 10 times the, uh, uh, over the traditional software testing. And uh, they are representative uh, worldwide in, in, uh, um, uh, in the United States, Austria, and uh, Germany, Switzerland, of course, 
and uh, UK uh, and Poland. And um, they are developing their software in Austria, in uh, Poland, and also in uh, Hungary, which is not there actually. So, um, yeah, going through very uh, marketing slides. Um, so in the United States, they are growing very fast. And um, so, okay. So let's talk about this DevOps stuff very shortly. We know that we have this one, you know, uh, waterfall typical, and uh, we know it is a little bit over, um, and 81% uh, 81 um, of the companies are going to adapt themselves into the DevOps principle. So how we see actually DevOps with the testing, and um, so it is not more one timeline, it is more, it's a cycles. So, and um, we have to be connect in all of the cycle from the beginning to the end, and then it will start again. So, uh, yeah. This is, this is the number we, uh, in the world. We are spending uh, 32 billion uh, for testing services. And um, so how we see the future, 80% that we are still doing the manual testing. But the future will be different. Uh, what we see, what we see, we are going to uh, have still manual testing, but it is more in the art of the exploratory testing. And uh, we are going to have more automated UI, and uh, API tests will increase at least uh, five times. So this is what we see the future of testing. So here, it's very clear, automation is a must. Without automation, it is difficult to, uh, to stay in the testing area. So, this is about the company. Um, I think with this one. So, you can see three centers where we are. Uh, here, and in Gartner here, and uh, here, here. So, they are all uh, reviewing three centers and Tosca, and um, uh, three centers has grown from 2015 to 2018. Uh, uh, four times. So I just move on. Okay, now we are coming to the uh, tool, how the tool looks like. Um, I have to say, unfortunately, uh, it was not possible to make a demo. You know, I was planning actually to make a demo, but we are going to have a demo um, which is actually recorded. Um, I have to apologize for that because I have to use this computer rather than you know my laptop. Okay, um, Tosca has in it uh, exploratory testing. So I have to be careful. So, so exploratory testing. So this is actually replacing the manual testing. Uh, when you are actually making a test, you know you can uh, record it. You can uh, manage the testing artifacts, um, uh, which is which is a must also in the tool. And uh, we are uh, supporting risk-based testing. Risk-based testing is um, actually a must for the future. You know, instead of you know having uh, five thousand test cases, we have to identify where are the risk, and then we have to start there. And uh, the tool is supporting that very good. Um, the test data management is in the tool. So with the test data management, particularly for the preparation of the test and, uh, and also for the uh, testing environment, um, we are supporting test data management. Uh, service virtualization, these are the models actually in Tosca. Okay? So how we are supporting which uh, unit. So service virtualization about um, instead of having a real application that we can have uh, uh, services which we can build or test the artifacts in an uh, environment without 
having dependency on the application which is delivered by the development team. So the test automation module is the most important module in Tosca. And then we have also the load testing. So we, based on our experience, uh, we are increasing through the risk coverage double. And then we are depending, we are connecting to the, the continuous integration with the release speed, so two, three times, and the cost reduction, particularly coming from the test automation, uh, 30, 40 percent, and it will be at the end this number of 10. So 10 times, it is approximately. We, uh, we like mathematics, so we would like to have a kind of, you know, how many times that we are increasing. Um, so, okay, how continuous is your testing? Um, I think um, as I started with test automation, I was thinking, and you know, my boss was also thinking, okay, we have to first automate manual testing. So we had a big vendor uh, from India, so we had the Indian testers, and then just the automate the manual uh, test. And then um, we have started, because you, know, you can show return on investment, uh, uh, you know, how much we are spending money, you know, how much we automate, and so on. So after three months, we got to know, actually, you know, automation is not the, not the target, actually. Automation of the test is not the target. You know, if you are, uh, if you cannot bind your test automation into the, you know, continuous integration, you know, into the chain, it doesn't make sense. It is like, you know, that you, um, you are going somewhere and then, you know, maybe in between you are automating with the uh, airplane and then, but, you know, you are going on foot. And then, at the end, it doesn't make sense yet that you automate only piece of it. So, um, how the, so we see the uh, uh, Tosca uh, in this chain, so uh, from the software development uh, phases, and uh, these are the tools which uh, are used, and then we see, particularly in the test area, it's a continuous integration, uh, how can we make it with the Tosca? So um, it is really important that this tool, test automation tool, is connected to all phases of the software development. This is, this is what I want to say. So how it looks like in the reality? So you have in, uh, this is a real example. So you have planning, you know, you have in Jira, you know, your uh, testing requirements and then you, know, you put them into the Tosca, and uh, uh, while you are making the code, and uh, you can use the test case design, which has uh, a Tosca, and, um, and then also uh, a test data management that you can use. And um, so in the build phase and uh, testing phase that you, can run your Tosca continuous integration um, uh, artifacts, artifacts, and then uh, to distribute them to the different machines and uh, get the code into the production environment. And then you can have also nice uh, reporting artifacts, so you can uh, create the reports. These all all are capabilities which uh, which Tosca enables. So, um, yeah, can you scale at speed? And uh, what is the test automation about it, uh, uh, which uh, Tosca use? There are different types of uh, test automation uh, techniques, and uh, Tosca use model-based tests, so are reusable and maintainable. Because uh, automation, to sell automation is very simple. You know, if you tell, uh, we automate, every manager supports you. However, every manager thinks it is a kind of, you know, wash machine that you can just plug in and then, you know, we have test automation. And the, the testers who are dealing with test automation knows 
this is not the case. We need time and we have to ma maintain also the testing artifacts. So model base is, is, uh, is very simple actually, that you can uh, scan the application, uh, you can scan it and the uh, parameters that you are getting from your, let's say, UI and uh, you have kind of an you know, XML files which you can uh, uh, create uh, in Tosca, import into the Tosca and uh, so you are importing the technical descriptions of the UI elements into Tosca and uh, you define your values and you do also for the second steps, yeah? These are the models, these are the technical descriptions, and these are the configured values, and uh, so you can build, build, in this case, your testing steps. So it's a kind of, you know, playing Lego. But on the other side, it is not really Lego. Lego, you know, you have to sometimes build your Lego uh, stones. Um, so uh, it looks like, yeah. So how you you can have the test cases, and then these are the testing steps, and then enter uh, the so test case, and then the testing steps. So with the values. So these are base from the models which you created from here. So you can have also the APIs, for example, um, which you can build in an end-to-end -end test case. The advantage of the Tosca is that you can cover many technologies. We know um, many tools are supporting uh, uh, some certain technologies, and uh, like your web, like um, uh, uh, APIs like uh, SAPs. However, Tosca is a generic tool to support all these uh, technologies. So, yeah, one real example I have. Um, this is an Austrian bank. I think, uh, yeah. So they had uh, 2,200 test cases. So risk coverage was 30%, and then it took uh, eight weeks, of course. And then uh, we went there and we analyzed, and we improved um, from, the, from 2,200 test cases to uh, 600 uh, key, uh, test cases uh, or testing scenarios, um, doing the test case design in Tosca. So this is... Um, um, to improve actually the, the coverage, um, how you can, it is, it is difficult to explain, um, however, we have a model in Tosca which enables test case design. For example, you know, you have a login info, like, you know, username, password, and okay, okay? And then, you know, we are supporting like Excel sheet that you can say, okay, user names is from A to uh, Z, and uh, password, uh, you know, different numbers, you know, without uh, uh, letters and so on. So we are supporting this kind of different options in the tool. Um, so you can see mathematically, you know, how you are covering actually your risk with the different um, parameters. Um, so it took, of course, uh, less than eight weeks. And then now, we haven't talked about automation. So far, it was not automation. And um, can you guess how much we gain after the automation? I mean, eight weeks, very normal. Five weeks up, uh, after the optimization and after the automation. One day. One day. This is including uh, test data management. One day is good. Yeah, two days. Yeah. So, um, 
And you know, in this automation, was what I said also. You know, the maintenance is very, uh, very important part because you know, maintenance for the maintenance that you are spending a lot of time. And uh, we went uh, from two, eight weeks to two days, and uh, we were able to do the smoke tags uh, in one hour because we could see actually, you know, what is the most risk in which functions we have the most risk and how we can and cover, it, uh, cover it. So, and um, I have many slides, so I have to a little bit uh, make quicker. So uh, we are also integrating in, into uh, nightly batches, so continuous integration that we are running uh, uh, every night, uh, every night uh, the test cases. Okay. Um, what else is important to know? Uh, I think I am missing some slides uh, here uh, by playing we took the wrong version. However, we can continue. Um, so how, uh, how can you get, um, how can you get um, no Tosca? And I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting, you know, that you, uh, I mean, you know, you are going to use in the, in the first two years. Um, however, um, if you are interested, if you are interested, that uh, it, it present this um, support the users uh, with the educations, with the training, and um, and they have also professional services. That means uh, um, if you decide to buy the tool, they are coming and implementing. And we are a source uh, implementation partner of the three sentence. Okay, this is the career path. How can you get an automation specialist? How can you get a, a test case design um, specialist? So there are actually three career paths, how you can make it. It is very professional. So um, you can get the slides and you, you can see. Um, and basically here we have, uh, this is the test case uh, design specialist. And uh, here we have a test automation species, and it is automation that you have to, you can also, you can also program, and then you, you can um, integrate your program into tools. So you can configure actually what, uh, which action you want to execute also in the tools. So, so you have also automation specialists, we call it automation specialists, who knows Tosca to use. So, uh, yeah, I have to do it now in uh, six, 60 seconds um, because I cannot show it uh, in this computer. And uh, I have a YouTube um, a video and I would like to share with you guys. Hopefully it's work. Mm. So I'm sorry for that. Um, hopefully you were able to see that. Um, um, <clears throat> so we have to go back. Now I have to raise, I cannot see my mouse also. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. So it says screen sharing actually. Uh, no, uh, I have to think further. Uh, yeah. So these uh, these are the all links that uh, I'm going to share in, uh, with my presentation. And um, you can go through. Uh, so how to do the API testing? Uh, how is the exploratory testing? Uh, of course, they are not going to be you know one minute. They are going to be you know uh, more. Um, and um, yeah, it is you know for you guys. I think it is interesting to know you know how the testing uh, industry is going uh, for particularly for the enterprise. And uh, this will come soon or late, uh, also in in your companies. Yeah, maybe this one. Yeah. Okay. What you can get from this uh, from this session? Uh, first of all, the future of testing. You know how we see the uh, in the future of testing. Uh, so efficiency, uh, effectiveness. And then also in innovation, it is uh, it is very important uh, that we as testers we uh, we have to get the education, we have to get the soft skills um, to um, uh, to be you know more efficient. All um, CIOs, all enterprise companies, um, they they need testing. They don't say. Uh, we are going to get rid of testing. Also, if it's a budget cut, you know, first unit, first team is asked to uh, to give more is the testing. In uh, if you compare, you know, development testing and uh, uh, production services, always testing is is a challenge. However, we have to be aware on that. And then we can make the connections between development and testing, and we have to educate ourselves. We have to know about the new techniques. Um, so, SOTSOS is a software engineering in test uh, company. If you are interested, uh, that you can go to the website uh, and how we uh, would like to, how we would like to see the future, you know, how we are seeing the future, how we are supporting actually the testing. Um, um, testing techniques, um, and uh, Tosca is a continuous testing tool uh, for enterprises. So, this is end of my presentation. Thank you very much. And uh, there are questions. Hi. Hi. Thank you for your presentation. Actually, my company was interested in Trisantis Tosca like a year ago, and so I've investigated it uh, a little bit, and so I'm mm -hmm. a little bit familiar with it. Uh, so you mentioned uh, that this tool is good for enterprise level, long living projects. And my question is, uh, is it possible to like uh, store the test information regarding the several projects in this tool? Yes, it is possible. It is possible. Uh, Tosca has uh, a kind of universal control systems in it, and um, so it is uh, um, the artifacts that you are creating will be stored in the in the um, yeah CFS uh, behind. So it is possible, and, and uh, you know yeah, with that with that you can work distributed. So uh, you can work from Minsk, you can work from um, Copenhagen, you know, you have uh, team um, members in different locations and then they will all work in their locals and then they will submit into the centralized server. This is, uh, yes, this is given. Okay, thank you. And another question is, uh, I know that you have quite like big and detailed documentations, about 800 pages as I remember. Uh, but the question is, 
uh, what the assumed uh, level of entry threshold for the person uh, who, like a newcomer to the mm. system and uh, tries to uh, get familiar with it, like uh, for himself, without uh, assistance of your company, of your service? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. Uh Trucentis has changed actually their, their idea and uh, we were able to convince them actually um, to uh, give education to everyone, to everyone because you know the training is not easy, easy uh, in the sense of uh, you know you have to know the tool, this is a new tool and then you know it is not the cheapest one, yeah? we yeah. have to be very honest. And uh, however, uh, in order to know all this function, you know, you have to go through the, the, uh, this training, yeah? right? And um, so it is really important, you know, to educate uh, masters uh, Tosca. And uh, what can I, um, I mean, from my perspective, you know, they have improved out of the online courses. And then you can also uh, write to them and then you, know, you can say you, you want to learn Tosca and then I am pretty sure they can give you. And you know, uh, otherwise you can write to me and then I can definitely make you uh, uh, online training uh, to them. Yeah. Okay, so it's right. like possible to buy Tosca without training but it will be the best uh, to like have training from your company. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, so you're going to have definitely a trail version, a trail version uh, mm. for one month? Uh, yeah, I've tried trail version previously yes. when I've investigated yeah. it. So, uh, like, two more short questions. Is it possible uh, to uh, somehow code in your solution, like, uh, attach uh, my own code solutions into mm. the mm. Tracentius Tosca in some way? Because uh, you, uh, you showed that uh, there are, like, controls that you uh, use to create your test case, but is it possible to attach my own code? Yes, actually, I'm very upset uh, why this is not working. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So you can see here all um, uh, integration uh, uh, chain. Uh, but also the uh, the technologies which are supported by Tosca. So you can program in C sharp, and then you know your C sharp program you can integrate in Tosca. So you know if it's not possible to, for example, make an automation for a part of your application, and then you can make your own program, and then you can, or you know you can uh, integrate also your Selenium scripts, for example. Oh, I see. I can even integrate Cabal and Fortran solutions. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And the last uh, short question. Um, I know that. Uh, am I right that uh, it's possible to like execute uh, the test suite uh, with mixed automation tests and manual tests? Uh, so the yeah. tool yeah. stops yeah. at manual test. Yeah. You perform some actions and then it goes. Excellent. You know, the exploratory testing is, you know, uh, replacing kind of you know, manual testing. Yes. This is the biggest advantage. You know, what I mentioned is, you know, Tosca is covering all different technologies from manual to automated, but also uh, from the web to, uh, you know, forget about the mainframe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, you know, to SAP, you know, ServiceNow, you know, different, com uh, different kind of, you know, techniques. You know, we know as test automator, what is the biggest challenge in, in our work? These are the technical ideas. You know, how you get actually from, uh, from the platform, you know, from the development program, you know, the technical ideas, and how to manipulate, how to configure the technical ideas. So Tosca is investing uh, out of time, you know, to recognize all these different technologies. Okay. Did I answer your question? Uh, and me? Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yes please. I yes. have one last question. Okay. So, uh, so last question is means you know last uh, but then this it, is it good. It will be really a last yeah. question. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I know you support uh, execution on web browsers but what else? Maybe desktop applications or uh, yeah, 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 yeah. mobile emulators or something. Yeah, mobile emulator that we have just started. Uh, uh, um, but yes, uh, yeah, client, client like you know .NET uh, or Java clients that we are supporting. This is the, the this is the biggest advantage here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. This was the last question. <laughs> but anyway, I am here, so okay, you can sure. ask me anytime. So. Uh, 
uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, You're welcome. Some questions. Uh, how much uh, percent of automation tests uh, is enough, uh, in your uh, opinion, for enterprise uh, clients? Uh, and uh, uh, can I ask the second question? And you? No, no, no. The, the, the first one. Can I understand it? How much? Percent. Per 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 percent. Person. So how many? So how much persons of uh, testing coverage, like uh, uh, ninety percent coverage, of automation testing coverage? Wow. Okay. Like uh, you test. Uh, you are uh, expecting an uh, percentual, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, percentual. You know, uh, um, from my experience, you know, I have always, I'm going. You know, I would like that everybody understand the automation, and I. Will, because of that, I am making uh, this uh, very clear. I, I am interested very much in software developers who are in testing. Okay, I wish you know many of them as possible. However, I have managed also the teams where we had for three developers, uh, three testers, one automation guy. So in four people, one of them has to be an expert in automation and three of them are manual tests. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, is, this is based on my uh, experience. Uh, but I wish, I wish that four of them are really automation specialists. Uh, okay, uh, you have shown uh, that um, uh, automation really helps you, but uh, uh, do you test uh, manually these, uh, that feature that was tested by automation? Yes, yeah. I mean, you have to, this is what we are calling continuous integration. You cannot start with the automation after a while. You know, you have to be ready from the beginning because of that we are trying to integrate the teams like, you know, development team and tester teams. You know, in the early world, the separation was clear, you know, the developers and testers. I am talking about my experience. I mean, this was the case in the uh, 2010, around then. And then now we are in the phase of, you know, through the Agile and through the DevOps that the teams are working together. So a development team is existing of uh, four developers, uh, two testers, one product managers, they are sitting all together. So a uh, developer knows there is a dependency on, on their code. They have to also help how they can automate uh, from the testing perspective from the uh, beginning. So it is really important to cooperate with the development teams mm -hmm. um, and uh, it is really important from the beginning from the first day that you are ready for automation otherwise it will be too late yeah, it will sure. be you know too late and then you know you have to always convince the management can we do automation can we do it but you know it is not ready you know the application has to be from the beginning ready actually for test automation this is what I want to say mm -hmm. and uh, one more question uh, you said a lot about uh, learning, about improve uh, ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, can you maybe take advice uh, in which uh, type of, um, how to say, uh, what can, can help us uh, to improve ourselves? like uh, such type of uh, conferential or like uh, uh, YouTube videos or uh, maybe your portal somehow and so on yeah um, who <laughs> because uh, there are a lot of information in the internet but uh, uh, which instrument can uh, help a lot look you know you know my experience is you know it comes always to the people to the people that you are working together and I would say you know soft skills are very important soft skills, you know, communicating with the development teams, uh, with the business analysts, understand the application. And um, this is one, one, uh, one thing that we can uh, support the companies actually, you know, soft skills, you know, how to communicate, how to work together. And uh, this is really key. In the future, uh, the teams are going to, you know, more agile. And the secondly is, you know, not looking only in your customer, 
or in your company. Also looking, you know, uh, outside, you know, um, in Europe or in the United States, you know, how they are doing the testing. This is the reason why I am here. I would like to show you another aspect, you know, there is uh, um, this tool and, you know, how they are doing. And hopefully I could wake, you know, your interest. Uh, but it doesn't mean that you have to use it. It is awareness. We are all smart and we have to be aware. And I have to say, you know, testing uh, and was always a kind of, you know, low profile. Low profile, you know, if you cannot be developers and, you know, you will be testers. But now it is the mature level of testing is, you know, this is our work. Yeah. And I'm giving always this example when I'm working with the people. Can you imagine you go to the doctor and the doctor says, um, you know, I, I, I have no education. I just learned it here, you know, just uh, making the surgeries to people. So testing is very serious job. We have to challenge software applications. And Oliver was giving, uh, giving this example about Kasparov, you know, because Kasparov was uh, expecting, you know, some move uh, from the machine, uh, from the IBM machine, and then he was surprised. We have to be in innovative. We have to be innovative in testing area. So hopefully I could answer your question. Mm. So you finished. Yeah, I finished actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, you could you please give us an example of the typical real world application for Tosca? Like, could you describe a project that will benefit the most from implementing your tool as automation? Mm -hmm. If you. Um, Okay, I can give you uh, a banking banking uh, application, you know, where you have uh, many customers and you have also different technologies behind, different technologies in the center, you know, you have web, you have also uh, back systems, so you want to uh, test uh, on the UI, you want to test on the API, you want to test on the database, you want to test on the reporting side. These are all different technologies, right? And you know, all you can build all these different testing, uh, um, let's say, phases in Tosca, and you can run it in an end-to-end testing. So when you are giving, you know, your data, login information, and then you know, uh, maybe you know, you have API, you know, where you are asking. Okay, you can test it also. You can go to the database. You know, you can check really in the database. You know, whether this the data is arriving in the database, and then you know you can create a report in SAP or in Boxy, and then you can verify also this testing. All these different tests you can build in Tosca. So it looks like quite large software project with a lot of legacy, and yeah. mostly probably a lot of desktop, from what I saw. Yeah, but it should not be desktop, but, you know, different uh, legacies, but different uh, technologies, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. I've got welcome. a question about opportunity to connect Tosca to some existing CI pipeline. Mm -hmm. hmm. Did I not? So, yeah, the, uh, this kind of pipeline, um, you know, you, you mean this? Uh, this yeah. I mean that uh, we have got already some pipeline with Jenkins. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how we can connect Tosca to this? Um, you have a kind of, you know, Tosca Connect? Uh, real world example. We've mm -hmm. got uh, some system, got uh, our tests right in Java, mm -hmm. got uh, Jenkins pipeline for mm -hmm. uh, CI, yeah. and do you want to uh, migrate to Tosca, start to use it, write tests with this, and uh, make automation with Tosca. Okay. So we need migration. Uh, what, uh, how we can uh, make this migration from existing to Tosca? But you know, in which way is written this uh, testing scripts? 
uh, maybe it's some Java, some mm. SNG, some Yeah, unfortunately, you know, this kind of migration is very difficult. You know, you have to build them really in, uh, in Tosca. Or, you know, if you have your Java, like, you know, Selenium scripts, that you can uh, build them, or you can uh, connect them, yeah. So Tosca can run, actually, the Selenium scripts outside. So you can do that. Instead of, you know, migrating, you can actually integrate on, you know, where to run, what to run uh, your scripts. So this is the integration on the user side. On the back end, like, you know, if you are in, uh, in Jenkins, for example, you have a project board, and then, you know, you are running your nightly uh, batches. You know, you want to see, you know, whether they run, uh, they run all perfectly, or, you know, some of them have failed that it is integrated already. So you can integrate it uh, uh, in Jenkins to see just the results, just the results. So there are two kind of integration. You were referring more on the user front, how to migrate your existing scripts into Tosca. So the answer is you can run them from Tosca or you know, if you have to, if you don't have any possibilities, if it's not command line, you know, if it's not command line, then it's difficult, mm -hmm. difficult then uh, to integrate. Or the second option is the tooling-wise integrate. Okay, so we will need uh, to set up Tosca and migrate our processes uh, with Tosca will be our orchestrator to start these tests. Yes, exactly. Okay, so, and so Tosca doesn't have some automated API for API for using from another systems? No, no, no. no, no. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for your speech. Uh, yeah. Tell me please, have Tosca some uh, metrics uh, which help uh, us to understand status of quality of product, to make some uh, conclusions about quality? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Um, this. Yeah. Quality is always um, relative. Um, they are two kind of qualities, you know, that we are, I mean, three maybe. Two is, you know, code coverage, you know, you know whether the code is really tested um, or, you know, from the requirements. So how the requirements are covered, right? Um, so what we are supporting is the risk-based testing. So we are uh, recommending, you know, that you can list your all requirements and then, you know, whether uh, how you test them. And for the quality, for the quality, you have this here, this circle, this reporting. So uh, you can see, um, you can see actually whether the requirements are how much covered, uh, whether they pass, fail. Uh, so you can show it from the requirements perspective. Now they are working also how they can build from uh, from coding. So each line, you know, whether each line is tested or not. So they are working on this feature, but they are not so far. So then, you know, it will be completed from the code. You know, when you are programming, you know, each line will be tested or, you know, from the requirement perspective, so business requirements, you know, you have business requirements, and then, you know, you are making a kind of, you know, risk weightage, and they say, okay, this function is very important, and then from that perspective, that they have already reports. But from the code coverage perspective, they don't have so far. However, this will be in the future. Uh, so I can uh, see the, this uh, statistic any moment? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, tell me, please, uh, I understand uh, currently that uh, many, uh, all of project documentation can uh, save in Tosca or, or mm -hmm. not. Yeah. I yeah. think it's a, a requirement, it's yeah. a test documentation. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, I, can I can go to one tooling. So here, 
uh, so you, you can see here. So you have here different uh, tabs. Okay, these tabs, starting with the requirements, uh, you have test case design, you have uh, test automation, and then you have test execution, and then you have test reports. So you can imagine this is the typical testing phases. So you get the requirements, you make the test case design, you automate them, and then you have the execution list, and then you have also reporting. You know, you show actually, you know, how much, you know, you executed. And all these items are connected each other. So, for example, on the requirement phase, that you can say how many of your requirements are tested manually, how many of them tested automatically. So you can see all this uh, in the tool. Actually, it is connected. So the quality is, I mean, you cannot see is whether each line is tested. You cannot see it here. However, from the requirement perspective, you can see. You can see. Um, so, yeah. Thank you. It's uh, so great. <laughs> Sorry. It's great to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hear. I wish. I wish. I wish that you can see also. You know, each line. You know, because of that. You know, quality is very much relative. You know, to whom to present. Right. You know, business is always uh, very uh, checking. You know. You know, all the functions are. Uh, tested or not, uh, or you know some of the functions, but also we are caring about also code. You know whether all codes are uh, tested or not, and hopefully in the future this will be all the case. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, uh, there, and you can write to me anytime. So. I've got such cards. Yeah. You can exchange it for a t-shirt, big one, on the reception, and we need to give another man for person who ask a question. Ah, okay, of course, yeah. For I think you know for the last question. Eh? <laughs> You've got a collection of t-shirts after this conference, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank uh, you. So th this one is. Uh, uh, you can go to uh, reception. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, it's uh, for me, yeah. but, uh, uh, yeah, 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 but uh, I can give also to somebody, uh, is it possible? Yeah, maybe, you know, for the gentleman there, yeah, thank you very much.